All right, guys, today we are going to smoke a turkey. I'm not gonna build it up any more than what it is. We are gonna smoke a turkey on the new Camp Chef Woodwind, the pellet smoker from Camp Chef. So I have had this beautiful bird, as you can see, in this brine for almost 36 hours now. What I wanna do is pull this turkey out I want to wash off the brine from the turkey, and then I'm going to actually pat it dry, and then we're going to prepare the turkey for the smoker in that order. Come along with me. Look at this big, beautiful piece of poultry. So I'm going to take it to the sink, wash it off, put it back in this pan. My wife informed me this is her veggie tray pan that I'm using, so it is vegetarian, but there is a turkey in it. Now that we have the brined bird rinsed off, back in the vegetarian tray, we're going to slide this bird to the side, and we're going to prepare a little mixture to go on top of it to help keep the turkey moist while we smoke it. Number one thing about cooking turkey is it's very easy to dry them out. So one, that is why you brine a turkey, and if you guys are interested in the brine I used, I will put it in the description, but also another way to help keep it moist is to either baste the turkey uh, every so often with oil or butter, or what we're gonna do is make a little basting that we just put on the turkey and put it in the smoker, and it should be good for the seven to eight hours it's gonna take to cook this thing. save you the boredom of watching me slice and dice and cut up all these herbs. I did a little bit B-roll footage as you saw, and now we're ready to make our baste. So what we want, we've got two cubes of butter softened. Uh, we're gonna do a little lemon zest here. The first time I ever zested lemon. All right, and then we have a, some sage, I cut up a lot more than I needed. I'd say about a half of a teaspoon, or a full teaspoon is what you want. Sage, I've got rosemary, teaspoon of rosemary. I've got some parsley, freshly cut parsley. We're gonna go about, I don't know, two to three teaspoons of parsley, maybe more, I don't know. And then we've got about three cloves of garlic, lots of garlic in here. Some pepper. I like lots of pepper. A little bit of sea salt. And then I'm actually going to squeeze just a little bit of this lemon in there just to make it a little more zesty. We're going to mix that up real quick and then we're going to apply it to the bird. Alright guys, now that we have our buttery goodness concoct and our bird is somewhat dry, what we're going to do is take this skin here and very carefully, you don't want to break the skin, you just want to separate the skin from the breast the best way you can. Okay? All we can do is all we can do. Try hard, give it a good college try, all that fun stuff, but just make sure you do it right, okay? And we can come in from the neck and do the same very gently. Don't tear the skin. Ever you do. You can even do, use tools to accomplish this. All right, we have all the skin separated from the breast around the sides. What we're going to do is make a ball of this gooey goodness. We're going to stuff it up in there. And then we want to evenly distribute it throughout the bird and the breast by pushing it down. You should be able to see through the skin of where the butter has gone. Alright, I 
feel like I've done a pretty fair job of getting it distributed under the skin. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cover the outside with the butter and oil as well. Now this is gonna give the bird a lot of flavor, but most importantly, it's gonna help it keep it moist while it's on the smoker. All right guys, now that we have the bird all buttery and ready for the smoker, we have to do one last step, and that's to stick uh, some things inside of it. Uh, fruit, we've got an apple, doing an onion, a lemon, an orange, pretty much anything you can get in there to keep some moisture in there, give it a little flavor. The, cit the citric acid helps uh, penetrate the bird, what they tell me, but yeah. A nice stuffed Thanksgiving turkey. Oh, that's all I can get in there. All right, check it out. You're on the GoPro now. The spin of the GoPro. Look how good that looks. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go get the uh, smoker started up and this bird is ready to take a ride on the Camp Chef Woodwind. <laughs> it's free, you don't even have to get to it. The uh, Camp Chef Woodwind is up to temp. I'm gonna do 250 degrees. I'm gonna grab the bird. Flex it. Thermometer. I'm gonna plug that in just to the thickest part of the breast. And then I can just check it on the digital readout of where we're at. All I'm trying to do is get the internal temp of this turkey to 165 degrees. That is what the USD a elemental I don't know, whatever the organization recommends for a turkey, okay? So 165. Check it out, check it out, check it out. It's been six hours and 45 minutes. It's an 18 pound bird. What do you think? We are gonna pull it, and uh, I got it up to 165. 170 degrees actually. The internal temperature of the turkey. Um, I believe it is ready. We're gonna pull it and uh, go cover it with tin foil and let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Woo. I'm leaving this in the hands of my father. This is the true test here. How much juiciness and flavor did we keep in it the bird? Very juicy. I can looking see Looking good? That. Yeah. Um, this one? Ooh, look at the smoke ring. Yeah. Just put it on this for We'll leave the juices in there. Is that okay, Casey? Yep. There you go, Carl. Did it. Oh, this is the bottle wow. Alright, there you go guys. That is, I'm not kidding, I am not a turkey lover by any means. We eat it about once a year. But from my, this is the second time I've done it. If you don't like dried out meat, so you gotta smoke your turkey. It is so juicy and tender and I actually enjoy turkey. Uh, done right on the Camp Chef smoker. So, Yay, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. We're gonna eat. Happy Thanksgiving. Fatten ourselves, happy enjoy each other's company for the most part. And uh, thanks for watching guys. Say happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.